Hey guys, this is Shane with DIY Tennis Dad. Today, we're gonna be discussing why you should teach your child tennis, okay? As opposed to taking them to a private coach or an academy, I feel that you teaching your child actually gives them the best chance for success. And specifically, we're talking about, you know, kids in the two to five year age range, okay? So young kids, we're going to be working with young kids here, and we're going to be doing simple bite-sized lessons, guys. And the real reason that I feel it's better to, as a parent, teach your child tennis as opposed to taking them to a coach or an academy is simply because of scheduling. Uh, coaches and academies are gonna sell their time in one hour blocks, okay? And a one hour lesson is just a lot for a three year old, four year old, or even a five year old. The amount of actual learning that happens in an hour long tennis lesson with a four year old, I feel is like maybe about 20 minutes. They're really not getting a lot. And a lot of the times they end up not liking it because they're stuck out on the court for so long. OK, and then they're coming once a week. That's even worse because then they're not getting used to it. OK, so kind of the general way that we're going to do things is every day we're going to play tennis, but we're only going to play for about 10, 15, 20 minutes at the most okay so we're gonna do real bite-sized real simple lessons and we're gonna be focusing on one fundamental technique per week and we're gonna kind of focus on that and move on and so if you guys work this program if you do it every day and you just stick with it your child will know how to play tennis and they will have a leg up when you decide to go to an academy or to a coach they'll be coming in as one of the best okay not at the very bottom and I promise you that makes a big difference with with the results okay so stick with me i hope you guys uh, join me it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to play some games these are not going to be serious lessons they're going to be little bite-sized chunks that over time are going to create a really good tennis player out of your child okay so i hope you guys join me i'm going to be doing once a week lessons and then i'll be doing some other things in between possibly you know just talking about things to help you and your child you know with your tennis goals okay um, before we jump out on the court and do the first lesson, I wanted to just do a brief discussion about a couple of things that you want to kind of get together. Um, just simple stuff like your child needs a racket and, uh, you know, you should have a racket and we're going to get some tennis balls and we're going to get a, a basket to hold the balls in. Okay. And that's basically it. Um, you guys obviously you know you want to take care of the sun we're going to be out in the sun so we want to do sunscreen and hats and tennis shoes and water okay and that's about all we need guys it's really simple there's a few extra things that i'll show i'm going to be showing some links in the description so if you guys want to jump in and get some of that or you guys can buy this stuff used you know we're trying to save some money here maybe some of us so um i'm not gonna you know this is not gonna take a lot of money okay this is just gonna take 15 to 20 minutes a day and it's going to go on for a long time okay three to five years before you're going to be uh before your child is going to be a really good player okay but stick with it it's worth it you guys i promise okay so um i'm going to drop a little bit of about the uh, uh about the equipment that i was talking about and then tomorrow i'll be dropping lesson number one so be ready for that it's going to be the first week and the first things that we're going to do with your child uh in tennis so I hope you guys start this journey with me. I'm excited and I hope you're excited too. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, and we're just doing a quick discussion on uh, the equipment that you wanna kinda get before we get started in that first lesson. So obviously uh, the, the child is gonna need a racket. Typically, you're just going to start with a 21 inch racket and I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, if you feel like your child's a little bit bigger, you could start with a 22 or a 23, but normally we start with that 21 and then you just move up an inch as they as they get ready for it. It's pretty easy to tell when that racket starts being a little bit too small or a little too wieldy for them. Then we'll just move up a size and all the way up until they're at an adult racket, they'll just do that. Um, so it's really pretty easy and those racks are $15 a piece they're really cheap and so it's not a big uh, not a big financial deal to, to get a few rackets um, 
As far as your racket, you know, if you played before, you probably know what you like. If you've never played tennis before, don't stress out about what racket you get too much at all. It really doesn't matter. Um, like I said, don't be afraid to get a used one, or I'll put links in the descriptions for a couple of, you know, just mid-range priced uh, beginner's rackets that'll work for you for a long time. Okay, one of the more important things with equipment that we're going to talk about is, is balls. Um, for the younger, the two Two, three, four year olds, definitely we want to be starting with the red balls. That makes it a lot easier for them to start hitting and we see some success right away. That really kind of makes them start to like it and have a lot of fun, okay? Um, once they get onto the red balls, then we'll move them to these orange balls, which are a little bit more realistic and a little bit more pressure. And then eventually we'll just transition into using regular tennis balls. And it won't take too long, depending on your child. You know, we might be there in six months to a year. Um, no no rush though. Feel free to stay with the orange balls as long as you guys like. Sometimes they like to move into the uh, to the real balls because it's like like mom and dad play with, you know. Um, the next thing that we want to look at is getting a basket to hold the balls and uh, there's a couple different options. One of them has wheels and one of them is just a wire basket that uh, actually helps pick up the balls and that's a great way to go. Um, so I'll be showing that in the lesson tomorrow and then obviously I'll link in the description like I said. Um, a couple other things that we kind of want to get is a football or a baseball. We're going to be practicing throwing a lot. That's really going to help the serves. So um, it's kind of fun if we're not just throwing tennis balls, if we're playing catch with the football, playing catch with the baseball, that's good. And then um, we want to get a soccer ball to uh, practice the footwork. We're going to be playing a lot of soccer type games and doing some soccer warm ups, kind of training the footwork without them even knowing it. It's going to be kind of just fun playing soccer and then they'll have good footwork. Okay, so I'll see you guys on the court tomorrow for lesson number one.